thing. Uh, with the resignation of Charles de Gaulle, uh, do you feel that there will be an easing of tension between France and Britain regarding the common market? Yes, I should hope so. Um, I suppose it was de Gaulle's personal position that made our entry most difficult, but I don't expect a complete change overnight. I mustn't hope for too much too soon. What was de Gaulle's resistance to Britain's entry into the common market? Well, I never could tell why, but he clearly was opposed to an Anglo-Saxon influence, as he used to call it, in Europe, and I think wanted to retain his concept of Europe was one essentially of continental Europe, and he regarded us as an Atlantic power rather than a European power. If George Pompidou wins the election, do you feel he'll be easier to deal with than de Gaulle? I think it's likely. <laughs> After De Gaulle was an exceptionally uh, stubborn man. He was a very great man. And it's always difficult to deal with very great men. You know, the Press International financial news indicated this morning that with the resignation of the French president, that the French franc would be affected, mm. and very likely the British pound, mm. but they did not believe that the American dollar would be affected. Do you share in this view? As far as the dollar is concerned, yes, I don't see why the pound should be affected, and the French franc still has very large reserves to support it. What one doesn't know is how they'll settle up these big negotiations they've been having on wages and salaries, which still remain open. Um, I think the initial excitement about the exchanges should die down, all being well, because the arrangements now that exist between the main central banks of the Western world are very efficient for dealing with this whole situation. Do you see a revision of our monetary policies in the near future? Now, do you mean the United States policies or the Western? On the well, let's take them, uh, the yeah. Western and the United States. Yeah. The United States would affect the Western policies greatly, of course. Yes, if you're thinking of your domestic monetary policy, it looks, and all one reads, as if the administration is set on a certain course and intend to pursue it and shouldn't be changing much in the foreseeable future. So far as the Western system's concerned, the uh, Special drawing rights should be brought into being as soon as possible. It may be that this change in France will make this capable of happening earlier than otherwise would have been the case. I know the pound.